Hey, what's up guys, it's Foster, and we're back doing another new products video for November. It feels like we just got back from SEMA, to be honest, and that was at the beginning of the month. If you missed all of our SEMA coverage, go check that out, we just dropped a video. I'll put a link up above. With that being said, we do have a ton of new products on our website for November, so let's go ahead and get straight into it. All right, real quick before we get started with the new products video this month, I gotta quickly announce the three giveaway winners since we reached 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. We're giving some prizes back to you guys as a way to say thank you. So the first two winners are David Patrick and Tyler Troll. You guys are the winners of the $100 gift card as well as the STI skateboard deck. And then there is a grand prize winner with that $500 gift card. And the winner is Sammy J. Thank you guys again for watching our content and supporting SubiSpeed. And make sure you email sales at subispeed.com so we can get your account verified. And we also hope you enjoy using that gift card. Let's start out the video with one of the most highly anticipated products of the month. And that of course is the new Cobb Access port for the 22 Plus WX. We've been waiting to get our hands on one of these for a while. And it turns out the wait was worth it because we were able to flash the stage one off the shelf tune on our shop WX, take it over to the dyno, and the car made 278 horsepower and 305 foot-pounds of torque. That's honestly not too bad for only having to plug this into the car's OBD2 port and push a couple buttons. So dollar per dollar, if you guys are looking for some performance gains and you want an aftermarket tuning solution for your VB, the Cobb Access port is the way to go. Let's jump straight into some new products we got this month from OLM. The first are these OLM rain guards for the VBWX. Just like the OEM rain guards, these allow you to crack your windows during a rainy day and that's gonna get some of the fog out of your windshield. And they also give you a little bit of sun protection too due to the fact that they are tinted. They come with a full set front and rear and they install using 3M tape, so it's a really easy installation. And I think they look great too. They really do just transform the look of your exterior. Next up, we've got some carbon fiber mirror covers from OLM for the 2022 Plus Deborah X. These things look amazing and they add a ton of cool style to the exterior of your car. So if you guys are trying to make your WX a little bit different than all the other ones on the road, this is a great way to do it. They are made out of real carbon fiber and they 3M on top of your old mirror covers. So if you ever need to revert back to stock, it's really easy to do so. If you guys watched our last new products video, you might remember this OLM Vector F1 light that we released for the VA chassis. It's got a unique style to it for sure. It's a little bit different than most of the F1 lights you see on the market, but it does retain that flashing brake light function that we all know and love. Well, now it's officially available for the VB chassis and it comes with its own plug and play harness, so you don't have to splice into wires or anything like that. This is available in two different colorways. You can get it with the red bar, which is what I have here, or you can get it with a white bar. Since we're at the back of the car, let's talk about some new exhaust options from Remark. You might have seen the R1 catback on our VB WX, and this is a great lightweight catback because it's a single exit and it's got a titanium muffler, but it is a little bit loud. So Remark recently came out with another catback, and this is the Sports Touring catback, and it's got a quad tip design and dual mufflers. So this is gonna be a great catback for those of you who want something a little bit more daily driver friendly, or you just want something more on the quieter side. In addition, Remark's got some axle backs for you to choose from. They've got a regular version and a Bozo edition, which has some pretty cool and radical styling. I'm a big fan of the Bozo edition. And if that's not all, Remark also has a mid-pipe kit. So if you buy an axle back and you want a cat back down the road, you can buy this mid-pipe kit in either a resonated or a non-resonated version. So tons of exhaust options for you guys this month from Remark. Taking a look behind the wheels, we've got some new brake pads and coilovers on our website for you guys to choose from. The first up are the Carbotech brake pads that are now available for the VB chassis. As you guys probably know, they're a different brake pad shape than the previous generation, so it took a while for brake manufacturers to make pads for this platform, but we're happy to see that there's a ton of Carbotech pads for you guys to choose from. Anywhere from a street compound like the 1521, which is low dust and low noise, to a full dedicated track pad like an XP24, and that's gonna take a lot more temperature to get up to their operating range, so you don't wanna use those on the street. If you are looking for a compromised brake pad that can do a bit of each, I'd recommend an XP8. That's what we've got in our shop WX, and it did great out at the racetrack, but it also doesn't squeal when you're pulling up to red lights. 
A lot of us have been waiting for some more coilover options for the 2022 Plus WRX. Well now we've got a couple different ones from ISC Suspension. They've got their N1 V2 coilover kits on our website. The first is the Street Sport kit with 8K spring rates, and then we've also got the Track Edition kit that's got 10K spring rates. Other than that, they're pretty similar. They've both got 32 clicks of damping adjustment, and they have preload separate from the ride height, so it's gonna thread through that lower strut mount. So if you wanna ditch your stock suspension and get better handling and better performance, the ISC kits are a good choice. New this month from TurboSmart are the Compact EM blow -off valve. They have that in a dual port as well as a plumb back model. So why would you want to run an aftermarket blow -off valve? Well, there's several different benefits to it. The first is the fact that they just sound really cool. The second reason is the fact that you will get slightly quicker air bleeding, which results in a quicker turbo spool. And the third reason is because they will support higher horsepower levels than the factory bypass valve without leaking. So if you're looking to make big power or if you just like the sound of an aftermarket blow off valve, these turbo smarts are a great option. The last new product we got in this month for the VBWX are these compressive tuning air shields. I really like the way that these things look. They've got a cool honeycomb pattern to them, and they're gonna add a pop of color to your engine bay. But in addition to the aesthetics, they also add some function because they're gonna protect your factory intercooler from bugs and rocks and debris, which as you can see, this car already has a bunch of crap stuck in the intercooler. All you gotta do to install these is pop them in place over your factory intercooler. It's gonna come with all the required hardware, and it really is an easy installation. More new products from Compressive this month for the VA chassis. This is their new diamond pulley cover. Super easy installation, and I think it adds some cool style to the engine bay, especially since we've already got their air blades and their radiator shroud. We've got this whole red theme going in our engine bay. But if red's not your color, they're also available in black, silver, white, and neon yellow. So a ton of different colors to choose from. If you're looking to clean up your engine bay, Grimspeed has a new lineup of dress-up caps, which replace these ugly yellow plastic caps that come from the factory in your WRX and your STI. Now, this isn't necessarily a new concept. It's been done before by other companies, but most of those are billet aluminum and they can get really expensive. What Grimspeed has done is they've made theirs out of plastic to keep the kit more affordable. Now, this kit comes with six caps total. You get your brake master cylinder, your clutch master cylinder, your power steering, a couple different coolant caps, essentially eliminating all that ugly yellow yellow plastic in your engine bay, and you can choose from either a black or a red finish. The last new product this month from Grimspeed are their Drycon air filters. They've got these for the SCI and the WRX, as well as some Foresters and Crosstrex. But the nice part about these Drycon air filters is they flow better than the factory air filter. In Grimspeed testing, they said that it flows about 60% better, and they saw a six horsepower and nine wheel torque pickup. Now, I'm not sure, to be honest, if you're gonna see huge power gains from changing out your air filter, but this does seem like a nice upgrade over your OEM air filter, so if you're due for a change, you might wanna look into one of these. It's also gonna give you a long service interval about 20,000 miles and when you are due to service this thing you are able to clean it wash it and reuse it if you're in the market for a new phone mount Skosh has a whole bunch of new MagSafe compatible mounts these are universal so they're gonna fit the WRX the SCI the VB older chassis the nice part about these is they wirelessly charge your phone and they've got that magnetic feature and as I said before, they are compatible with MagSafe cases. So if you've got a newer iPhone with a MagSafe case, you're actually gonna be able to charge your phone as you drive, a really nice handy feature to have. In addition, I like the fact that this can mount to the vent or it's also able to mount on the dash with some 3M tape. And I tell you what, these magnets are super strong. Even during some spirited driving, this thing's not going anywhere. Last but not least, we've got some new sway bars in this month from Faction Fab for the WRX and the STI. They just released a front and a rear option, and both of these are gonna be thicker than your OEM sway bars, which means less body roll and improved cornering grip. This rear one here is 22 millimeters thick, and it's three-way adjustable, so that means you can set it either full stiff or full soft or right in the middle, and that's gonna allow you to really dial in your car's handling. In addition, it comes with these red polyurethane bushings that are greaseless, so you don't have to make a mess during installation. My favorite part about these new Faction Fab Sway Bars though is the fact that it's got this nice matte black finish, which is really nice because a lot of the times your suspension bits underneath the car can get quite colorful, so this is a nice neutral color. All right, well that's pretty much gonna do it for the month of November. I hope you guys liked watching all the new products we got in. And if you wanna pick anything up for Black Friday or for some Christmas gift shopping, I will put all the product links in the description down below. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.